Oh, and blessings, friends. Here's the forest in California. It's a beautiful sunny day. Lots of shiny sun and magic times. Plants everywhere. Eucalyptus all over the place. Lots of kids are coming. Many blessings. Even grass is actually an edible medicinal plant with anti-inflammatory compounds. And uh, any grasses can be chewed on and you can suck on the juices of any grass. And it's actually medicinal and it's no different than buying wheat grass in the store, which is basically a rip off. And of course, one of my best friends, dandelion flowering in California. Yeah, dandelion is an amazing liver tonic, very deep medicinal plant. Uh, bitter, but that's what the medicine is. So anything that's bitter actually uh, reduces blood sugar levels. So those with diabetes, etc., high blood sugar, would be very benefited by eating bitter plants. Uh, so they're detoxifying, they're cleansing for the bloodstream, and they also uh, help the liver detoxify as well as they're uh, very good in uh, stomach issues because of the bitter it creates bile creates secretions I'm actually charging my phone on an awesome solar charger which works awesome so my goal is to have basically solar power for uh, an iPhone and a laptop and then do live broadcasts of plant walks and other medicinal classes foraging primitive skills magic stuff so feel free to questions or messages or uh, be in touch at any time on my website at returntonature.us lots of California helicopters always or my email is uh, dan at returntonature.us and you can always ask herbal questions or get the uh, conversation started because it's a huge world and there's magic medicine everywhere here's another one it's pine these are old so you wouldn't want to make medicine from this but they're super flammable so a you have to be careful and b you can also start fires uh, safely and there are pine trees and right now there's actually pine pollen dropping which is super medicinal uh, as well as you can make the needle uh, tea which is really good if you don't boil the living shit out of it so you can actually uh, simmer the pine needle tea and it's a really high in vitamin C and really delicious drink and pine nuts come out of pine trees and uh, the inner bark is also edible but it tastes like turpentine but it will keep you alive so sitting under a pine today in the sunlight and the pine nuts are basically finished in California but uh, the sun is never finished in California I'll be headed to the East Coast again in a few weeks uh, and actually one week to do uh, a weekend workshop foraging and herbalism at Ananda Ashram which is in Monroe, New York so that's going to be the first weekend of uh, April and then enjoy foraging and festivities with my friends in New Jersey, Princeton area on a farm and work on developing a yurt and van plan so that I can get mobile and teach all over the global. So welcome friends and feel free to ask any questions or type any craziness. I don't even know how it works so we'll see. Well, plant blessings for now. Be in touch. I'll be back soon.